What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Mon Bazoo. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. Here's the deal. All right, I was 100% committed to purchasing the turbo kit for the E36 today, slapping it on there, and calling it a day. That was pretty much going to be the episode. I've obviously decided against that because now that we know that the racetrack costs $70,000 to get up and running, I think it's probably in our best interest we, you know, spend our money to later on make more money, if that makes sense. We're going to invest in ourselves a little bit today. So, start things off, we're gonna hop in the pick -em up truck right over here. We're gonna make our way to the Sugar Shack so I can update you guys on all things maple syrup related. We've got a little bit going on over here. Definitely have quite a few more trees than we had previously. We're sitting at $15,000 bills, y'all, in our back pocket. But uh, let me let me show you guys what we're working with over here. Let's uh, just go ahead and cut the ignition for the time being. So we have our two big tanks here. Those are completely filled, even though I have been steady grinding the maple syrup production. We have in total 60 trees right now, which the game is saying is kind of all right so i'm feeling pretty good about that we've got quite a few birch trees over here that i've been replanting and chopping down so we can get a little bit more firewood as you can tell we don't have any more firewood ready to rock because i've literally been splitting it and then using it immediately not the most efficient way to do things but in here we have an almost full reservoir and six barrels that are ready to rock. So we're gonna get these loaded up. And I keep getting told to drive over the little delivery spot here for the barrels. But as you can see, it does nothing. No matter how far over I go, it's not gonna happen. So, in that case, we just have to hop out like we have been doing and uh, just get them chucked over there. Pretty easy. Honestly, I'm not complaining that we can't just drive over it. This really doesn't take that long at all. So there we go, $1,200 as I said. Now we're up to 16,000 buckaroonies. Eric, what's going on, my man? So, ladies and gents, here's what we're doing. We're buying some stuff today. I think I wanna purchase the reverse osmosis machine or the upgraded boiler thing. I don't actually know what this is. Oh, also, yeah, I know it's, it's here, it's here. Someday, maybe I'll come back and grab it, but that day is not today. Let's go ahead and purchase that. A tech will be, or a tech was passing by your home. The installation will be completed in a couple of minutes. Something else that we still don't have is our own maple syrup. I, I still have to go into Jacques and buy the $7 maple syrup bottles. So I think this will probably allow us to basically can our own maple syrup. I'm gonna go ahead and get the can sealer, of course. We then only have $600, which ain't much. We're gonna buy that and then start dragging in all of these cans. Since we only have, what is that, seven cans, I think we'll just get one thing of can lids for the time being. But let's go throw this stuff in the truck and we'll be on our way. Tell you what, this reverse osmosis machine thingamabob better just rock my world because that was very, very expensive. Oh, I noticed the new drain that we have now on the outside of the building. I guess I didn't realize that it placed it over there. So what exactly does this do? I guess it goes into the machine now and then goes into the evaporator, which is interesting. It's obviously got power. And then over here, this is our crimping machine. Oh, I thought it was called a canning machine. Maybe it was, I guess, in the store. So that gets maple syrup from the reservoir. Okay, good. I was actually kind of concerned that we were gonna need like an additional barrel for this. Let's uh, let's first figure out how we can can some of this for ourselves here. So it says there's zero lids in. Do we just add the lids to the machine? Okay, that seems pretty straightforward. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, this is kind of embarrassing. Um, my first one that I put in, I like sneezed in the middle of it and it kind of ruined it. And then the second one, I just like stuttered really bad. And it was kind of embarrassing, so I cut that. And then this third one that I put in, I just didn't say anything at all. I just straight up grabbed a can like, wait, no, not like that, like this. And chucked it in there and started doing stuff and I, I didn't even talk about it. I was just like dumbfounded. I just stood here and looked at the thing. So there you go. Now we have some maple syrup. Sweet. Well, it's a good thing that we can can our own now. I uh, am definitely on board with that. So what we need to do next, ladies and gents, is actually before we start grinding, 
before we start grinding, I want to head back to our house. And uh, I want to I do a little something with the sand rail, or the buggy now. So first of all, if you guys haven't yet seen the previous episode, then you'd have no idea that we now own, well, we owned it before technically, but we've now built our very own buggy or sand rail. Call it whatever you'd like. It is, as you can see, primer. Just base primer. Nothing really that crazy going on with this thing. I didn't actually realize that that opened. Okay, that is news to me. I just saw the little, like, handle there, so I clicked on it. Cool. Alrighty. Well, it's primered. It obviously looks eh, but it can look way better. You guys, way better. And we've got just the colors over here. We made this custom, like, dew green, like, baby vomit green. And we also made this custom purple. Because why the heck not? So I think I'm going to use the purple on the body. Not the, not the tubing, not the framing of it, but, like, the panels and stuff. So let's go ahead and apply the purple to this. This thing's going to look so wild, dude. I did see a lot of great suggestions for colorways for the buggy, but I think, you know, just because we kind of have the paint already, we're going to try this on, and we'll see if we end up liking it. This, honestly, like, as it sits right now, is pretty good. Like, that's a, that's a pretty good-looking thing. But let's get a little bit of color on this tubing. That is not even working anymore. There we go. Okay. You got to be in just the right spot. And I almost wonder if we shouldn't use a little bit of that metallic on this thing. Dude, it looks so sick. It looks so sick. Very rowdy looking now, for sure. Let's grab this metallic paint and just see if it'll shine up a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. It's kind of hard to tell, actually, because the, the lighting in here is not the greatest. Why you no put flashlight the way? Thank you. And then we can drop that really quick. Hit the lights. Okay, so we've done the paneling. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of this to the frame as well. See if that changes the look of it. It did, actually, definitely a lot shinier. And the last thing that we need to add here is going to be some clear. Do we only have the one? We must. Okay, we've only got the one. The other one is actually empty. So let's do that on the main panels. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That got real shiny. And then we'll do the same thing again once more to the frame. Golly, that is a looker. That is a looker. I am going to gloss up the rims a little bit too because I, I just feel like they... You can't really like see the depth of them that well. But that definitely looks a little bit nicer. So we'll do this to the other wheels also. Get a load of this, dude. Take a look-see at that. This thing looks rowdy. Looks real mean. And you know what? Since we don't really have to drive the truck over to go work in the sugar shack for a while, I think I'm just going to go ahead and take this thing. It's it's seriously so fun to drive, you guys. It's, it's freakishly fast. It sounds really freaking cool. Oh, God. But around the corners, man. Oh, and a big backfire there. Around the corners, it is squirrely. Also doesn't turn the greatest. But uh, we're just going to head into the sugar shack here. Do a little bit of grinding. Oh my god, wait, no. We can't even produce anymore, dude. Our reservoir is full and we have zero barrels because we just dropped off this morning. So we're going to actually have to go get those then tomorrow. So I guess tonight we could do a race. Get a little bit of money, kill some time, might as well. We are running a bit behind, but I think we'll have plenty of time to at least squeeze in one race against the Evo. We gon' see, dude. We gon' see. Still blaring the beats. I like it. I like it. I appreciate it. So let's go ahead and place our bet against Tom. Wait. We can't. We don't have that money. Oh, God. Okay. So we've got to do this one first then. It's fine. It's fine. Wait, wait, wait. I got to talk to you. Got to talk to you before you peel on out of here. So hopefully we can squeeze two races in then in that case since we're not going to be getting very much money from this one and then i'm actually gonna try to do this on my keyboard today because i don't have any batteries in my controller at the moment so we don't have a clutch button this is gonna be a little difficult dude it's gonna be a little tricky i could do a neutral drop i guess neutral two first but seems like we broke away from the line there fairly quick 
Upshift to third. Breaks. Downshift back to second. He's going to try to slide around us. Ain't happening today, brother. Wow, this is actually really close. It's funny how much of a difference the controller makes versus the keyboard and mouse drive in here. I like this, though, for third-person mode. I feel like it's easier to, like, move the mouse around. Not our best time. We still got a little bit of time, but unfortunately, we don't have a thousand bucks to put up against Tom here. So we're just going to go ahead and race Michael once again. Good old Michael. You can't beat it. Well, you could, but that would be weird. All right, Miguel, against you, I am going to do the neutral drop to first gear. Because why not, right? Let's go third person mode again so we can kind of see him a little bit better. And this is just a straight shot, thankfully. Look at that. This is going to be our best time, actually, even with a neutral drop. Oh, no, it wasn't. Wow, you're telling me we've done better than that. It's the controller, you guys. It makes it makes all the difference. All right, Michael. See you later, dude. They're going to be out of here in about 15, 10, 15 seconds. Let's head over here, though. There's a street. We've got a little bit of time left. At least we have some maple syrup and some poutine in our system. But there's a little bit of street over here that we can go down. And just at the end of this cul-de-sac, I'm pretty sure is where the dock is. Is it not? No. Maybe it's, maybe it's, oh, oh, I see it. Okay, I see it off in the distance. So this dirt road right here goes all the way down, it looks like, to our dock. Which has, as we learned, oh no! Hang on, reverse! Oh, that was almost real dicey. Okay, let's go ahead and rip the e-brake and kill the ignition. But uh, as we learned in that previous episode, we now own a boat. At least I think so. Oh no, we can purchase the boat now. I've got you. They would make it $14,000. Look at this thing, though. This is great. We've got a little fuel tank back there. Another hoist puller on the boat seems kind of weird, but okay. We've also got an anchor. All righty. Let's check out the controls here. Ignition. We've got the steering wheel. And it looks like there's a ripcord on the engine. I'm not sure if we'll actually have to use that, though, since we have the ignition switch up there that's really cool dude really really cool i just wish we had enough money obviously to to buy it here on the spot i have really been neglecting my crops as well so we're gonna come through just quickly water all of the ganja plants and then over here quickly water our taters as well our only source of food you guys unless we want to like go into town and and buy their stuff which we have done but let's come over here to the sugar shack so we can grab ourselves a can of maple syrup. Delicious maple syrup. Love that. And back home so we can grab a poutine. Good deal. And now we're going to head back to the Federation, grab our barrels. And I am just going to grind here for a little bit, at least until Sunday. And then, or I guess we'll have to wait until Monday, wouldn't we? And then what I would like to do is go to the store, which we've still never been to and purchase one or both of the trailers. Probably leaning more towards the Dolly trailer because I really want to go rescue the uh, demolition derby vehicle at the junkyard. But if we can afford the um, the other trailer for like firewood and, and barrels and stuff, then I'll probably buy that one as well. One eternity later. Instead of working for that amount of time, I decided to basically just sit on the computer and save over and over and over again and then you know, skip the night on our bed. It's just, it's a little faster. It's gonna allow us to just get on with our life here, but waiting until Sunday to get paid was definitely the best move, as it always is. We're sitting at 6,800 bucks now, and I think I'm gonna go top off our maple syrup, but we are ready to go see a lady about a trailer, or two trailers. Still not really sure we can afford both of them. Now, I know we purchased the trailer outside. We just walk up and click on it, but we haven't actually spoke. Oh, she's not even here yet. Oh, no. Okay, well, we just got to wait a couple of seconds. Not a big deal. So we can't, yeah, we can't purchase this quite yet. We'll just twiddle our thumbs. You know what? We'll have a doink. We will have ourselves a doink. And now that we're a little toasty, we can make our way into here to see what we got. Just a bunch of furniture. 
I mean, it is a furniture store after all, but what do you actually do with this stuff? I guess the shelf could look kind of nice in the garage, maybe, if we needed, like, extra parts storage and stuff. We've got a bench over here. Oh, dude, some smell good. We got to put the smell good on. Little pink flower, a bird bath. Love that. A couple of other, like, plants and things. Basically just little, like, piddly decorations. Nothing we actually need. Oh, you're telling me we can't buy this one? The coolest one? Melanie? If that's your real name. How's life? Oh, so she's not a person that we can actually, like, interact with. We wouldn't even be able to sell you doobage ever. So what's the point of even talking to you, really? Let's come out here, see how much these trailers actually are. $2,400. Not fully supported yet. Okay, I think it said that before, actually. And then $2,700. We do have enough money for both. Yeah. But hear me out, you guys. We have just the right amount of barrels at this point in time to perfectly fill the truck bed, right? Why would we actually need this? We could use it for firewood, I guess. But to be honest, I really don't even chop firewood and deliver it to faceless bro anymore. At least not that often. So let's just go ahead and hop in the pick-em-up truck and we'll attach ourselves to that new dolly trailer, dude. I'm pretty pumped to go pick up this demolition derby vehicle. I think that's going to be really, really cool. We're not going to be able to obviously check out the demolition derby. I believe that's contained within the racetrack. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong on that. I probably am. Let's get that. Get that. There we go. Coupled up and we are ready to rock onto the junkyard. Had a few little oopsies with the trailer on the way over, but it wasn't anything we couldn't handle. It kind of seems like it tips over fairly easily. Let's see if we can back this. Oh my God, see? There it goes again, dude, just whipping around. So with any luck, if we add a little bit more weight onto this thing, like from the demo derby car, hopefully that holds it down and it won't like fly all over the place. It was really squirrely, like jackknifing all over the place. Let's go ahead and rip the parking brake and we'll see if we can't get this demo derby vehicle on, uh, on the trailer. Oh, you know what? This thing probably doesn't have any gas, does it? Yikes. Okay, we'll just slide through the window here. It's It's gotta be on E, right? I mean, it did fire up for us the one time. Where's the, oh, right here. The ignition is there and then start button. Okay, it, it did fire up. Let's just go ahead and drive forward. Try to make our way over to the trailer before we run out of fuel. God, the turning radius on this thing is awful. We're doing a 17,000 point turn over here. Good God. Okay, we're almost there though. We're almost there. And how do we how do we get it up there? Do we do we drive it up there? Do we just Oh god, hang on, hang on. I don't want to waste any fuel. Cut the ignition. Um hop out with the seat. I love the number. Didn't even didn't even really pay much attention to the number. Okay, open ramp. Oh, yeah, that's probably important, huh? Now I bet you it'll just hop right up there. Go ahead and hit the ignition. Third person mode. Still first gear, I think. Reverse a little bit, recenter ourselves. Okay, right here. Wait, 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 no, no, no. Too far, too far, too far. Reverse, reverse, what are you doing? Oh my God, dude. I put it in reverse Terry and it is not, it is not going. Oh, good God. Okay, here's what we need to do. <laughs> this is botched, dude. Absolutely botched. We're just going to go ahead and cut the ignition on that. We're going to drive the truck a little bit more forward. Third person view on that. I mean, we are towing the car. It's just not... We're not using the trailer as it's intended to be used, <laughs> I don't think. I'm pretty sure the front wheels and the front wheels alone, not the entire chassis of the vehicle should be uh should be on that trailer so maybe this will be a better spot to park i'm gonna oh we still had the parking brake up no wonder it wasn't towing hang on let's try this again is that gonna is that gonna do good things it's moving i just don't think i'm gonna be able to get it off the trailer is the problem hold the phone hold the phone hang on let me let me mess with this for a sec this has been tricky dude very tricky 
Okay, yeah, it's it's just not going anywhere. I think it's actually like clipping through the tailgate of the truck now. See if the hoist puller can help us get this thing off the trailer. Never thought it'd be difficult to get something off of a trailer. Always assumed it'd be kind of tricky to get something on, but come on, dude, come on. Just, just hop over that little lip right there. It should not be this difficult. Oh God, we're gonna slingshot this thing straight into our face, aren't we? Oh God, yep, 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 yep. Okay, okay, hang on. Hang on. Stop, stop. Oh no, 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 don't go anywhere. Okay, we're good, we're good. Let's put this back in the truck, open up the ramp. And now this time for sure, dude, this time for sure. I'm feeling, feeling much more confident. Ignition, start. I'm sure we probably don't have that much fuel remaining. So let's get this thing positioned properly. Let me get her lined right up. Another multi-point turn for the win. Here we go. Nice and easy, right there. Don't move a muscle. And e-brake, just, just for a moment, we'll cut the ignition, hop out, close the ramp. It doesn't really seem like it's in, oh, attach vehicle. Had I known that that other bar was there, I would have done that a long time ago. Okay, but now we have to obviously disengage that parking brake so the thing can actually roll on those rear wheels. And now, ladies and gentlemen, now we are good to go. Look at this. Incredible. All right, well, it's gonna be a long hike back home, but to tell you the truth, I think this is probably just where we're gonna wind down this episode at for today. So once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.